again the real jenny land you guys already saw what today's video is going to be about don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's just hop right into the video wow I'm hello. So <laughs> hello how are you i'm doing great how are you i'm yeah, just being funny but uh you know i want to talk to you hold on how old are you i'm 31 what do you want to talk to me about? Um, you know, I'm a boss woman. I just was out at my booth, you know, doing my pop-up shop today. And I went to college. And I believe that I can have a family one day. I believe okay. that... How many kids you got? No kids. Oh, my God! Wow! So, you guys saw Kevin's face. Um, The first thing she said is, I'm a boss woman. Maybe she does not watch his videos because clearly Kevin is about to try to get her because she came in the door with the wrong energy and y'all see his face. Okay, you believe you're gonna have a family? Okay. Yeah, I well, believe I, I can meet my match. Hold on, 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 hold Hey, wrong with you? Okay. I know. Okay. Just coming out the gate, to be honest with you, it sounds like she's trying to advertise. It doesn't really seem like she's focusing on their conversation, but let's just see. Need my website because I'm talking to you, so it's like, wow, I was well, shocked that. Well, turn off the comments and have the conversation. Let's talk. Help me out, Kevin. I don't know why, I don't know why. I mean, if you already have it all figured out, why do you need my help? I mean, I want to help your, your viewers too see my point of view and... Oh, help his viewers. Um, um, I don't know. I kind of feel like her energy coming into the conversation is a little bit off-putting. So I already feel that immediately Kevin is about to go dead in. <laughs> Go ahead. You, I just want to talk you wanna, about you your wanna, conversation what, about how I can meet my match. How can I make? I don't my know match? what your match is. I don't know what your match is. What do you want? I want someone that you know can match my drive, my ambition. You know, someone that can bring to the table what I bring to the table as a woman. You know, I want someone that can meet you know my match. Mm -hmm. How's that working out for you? It's been working out great, but you know, honestly, I don't think guys at this point in my career are what I need to focus on. Like, I just want to focus on myself. And then when I get to a level where I'm comfortable, you know. She feels that guys isn't what she needs to focus on at this point in her career. I'm kind of confused why she even calls the show. I thought the point of Kevin was because people are looking to connect with someone else. So, well, you know, I want to settle down and that's what's in my vicinity. Now I'll you want any children? that more. Want any children one day? Yes, of course. That's why I'm doing everything. No, I don't say of course. It's not of course. I mean, well, not of course, but for hold on, me, hold on, it's hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. A little time. How many kids would you like to have? Two or three. Two or three. Which one? You know, two and a maybe, maybe. You know. Two or three. Which one? Two or three. Three. Let's say three. Let's just go for it. What state do you live in? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think she should switch her energy because she should be able to pick up on the fact that Ke Kevin is already irritated and it's only been two and a half minutes into the conversation. So honestly, it's not going well. I live in Las Vegas right now. Okay. Um, at what age does geriatric pregnancy attach for the female? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? At what age does geriatric pregnancy attach for women? Yes, you know, if there is a time. At, at what age? I'm like, I hear at 35, you begin to at be. 35, at 35, at 35, yes, at 35. When I'll settle last, for one at, kid. At 35, you know? when, at, no, at 35, when was your last relationship? 
I mean, I'm dating someone now, but my last relationship was a year and a half ago. And how long did it last? Five years. So now she's saying she'll settle for, for one kid. So coming in off the, <laughs> just right off the bat, it seems like, um, she doesn't really know what she wants. She, if she was going to call his show, if she's watched it before, I think she should have came in a lot more prepared with how she feels and what she's looking for because instantly Kevin is going to go bananas because it seems like she's all over the place, which really makes me think that a serious relationship isn't something that she's interested in because, I mean, it's like you say one thing, you go from three now to one, so. Hey, could you do me a favor and keep swiping? Could you turn These off? These people are going to my website. I'm, okay, I'm, could, okay, turn off the notifications or turn off comments because that's kind of I can't. I'm sorry. I'll just ignore it. It's blocking yeah. your face. Then she just keeps talking about her website. So, I mean... You're not interested in a real relationship, and that's not what you want. It seems like yeah, her focus is on her business, whatever the business is. So. Well, you can turn off the comments. All you have to do is hit the three dots. No, do you know my website? It tells me when I get viewers. Okay. So, right. but you can go Yeah, ahead. that's fine. Okay, so, um, five years, right? Five years is your last, your longest relationship. Um... Why didn't you guys get married? Okay, to be honest with you, I know this is about to be a short call. Kevin is about to hang up on her because it's not going well. Out the gate. Well, we just decided that that's not what he wanted at that time. He wanted to focus on his business as well and get himself to a better position. You know, that's not, we both were just, you know, wanted to focus on business at this time in our life. Um, and what kind of business are you in? I do marketing and branding. Okay, well then that's kind of contradictory to what she said initially. She said she's looking for someone that's trying to, you know, match her ambition and everything. And if that guy was thinking about focusing on his business, um, clearly he has the same ambition. So I want Kevin to dig a little bit deeper and ask her if that was his goal and that was her goal. Why didn't they just do it together and then build a strong Unit. Same thing, you know, but I'm also, you know, I do. All right, so about what, at what age? I you, own a market. At what age? No, no, I don't know. We have this conversation. At what age do you think you will be ready? She really want to get that business in there. I'm shocked she haven't say, said the name of it yet. At what age do you think you will be ready or in a position to settle down? Like, in like, like soon, like now. I'm dating someone. At what age? Because thirty-one. Well, well ma'am, those two you just you just contradicted yourself. How? Because you came through the door talking about you're not ready to do something. I never said. I said that I want to. That's why I'm not in a relationship. I'm dating someone. How long have you been dating this person? For about four months. Did you got? Is he wanting to get married? Yes. Did you guys start dating with the intention to be married? Well, yeah, I am, but how can I, no, no, like, no, you know, no. balance Hold my on, work and my, my relationship? Did you start, okay, did you start dating? Okay, let me just say this. She is very beautiful, but um, honestly, she seems a little bit all over the place. It seems like right now her whole main goal is focusing on this business that she has. So I just don't understand why, if that's how they feel and they want to call in to Kevin's show, why not just say that? I'm focusing on my business. I'm dating, but I'm not seriously interested in looking for marriage. It's like they come on and they tell him what they think he wants to hear. And then Kevin, I can be honest, he's a really good listener and he sees right through that every single time. So just come on and be honest if you really want to get on the show and talk to him. This man with the intent that I'm dating men specifically yes. and solely towards getting married. Yes. You guys have had this conversation. Yes, from the day and he one. wants to get married. Yes. And what kind of time frame does he want to get married? I'm not sure. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that, that I haven't have had, had that. that no, I haven't no, had that no, specific no, no, conversation. No, you haven't had the conversation. Okay. So you, I have you talk a lot. No, I don't. I'm getting, I'm getting to the bullet points. You, okay. You talk a lot. Okay. If you're dating with intention, see, I feel like she's just saying what she thinks he wants to hear because. 
on average, I'm not saying every situation, on average, when you meet someone, you typically don't come in the door talking about marriage. You really normally don't. I mean, if a person does and says their intentions, you can respect that. But typically, a, a single people don't just because you feel like that's going to scare someone off. If you meet, meet me four months and already you're talking about your, like your marriage thoughts. So I really don't even believe that, to be honest with you. You said I'm dating a man, and we got it clear that I want to be married, he wants to be married. The next question is in what time? Because in four months, if you don't know, if you didn't know from day one, why'd you go to day two or three? I mean, I mean I'm mean, i assuming it's within a year or We so don't assume good. shit. You know, we're business people. We don't assume anything. We are, well, we are, I'm just we are, dating no, right no, now. No, I'm no man, we're business people. We're business I people. Think. We don't assume anything. We, we can't. Can you deposit an assumption? No. So in other words, you're not dating with what I call an intention to be married. Okay. So why don't you have the conversation with him tomorrow? I hey, tried to have it frame? last night. I had something to do today, so I didn't go into it, but it is something that I do have intentions on doing soon. But see, that's the problem. If this man wanted to be, if this man was what, what you say he is, he would already have had this conversation with you up front. I think I would have respected um, her a lot more if she would have just came into the conversation saying that she doesn't really know what she wants out of a relationship right now. And her sole and main focus has been her business. But she would in the future like to consider something serious. And so what are the steps that she needs to take in order for her to get there? Because this conversation was just like a lot over here, over there, up there, down there. And Kevin instantly, you could tell within the first 30 seconds, was annoyed. So he's not going to really be able to help her <laughs> because she's not sure what she's looking for. Or maybe she knows and she's just afraid to vocalize it. See, this is part of the problem. You ladies talk, but you don't want to get the real stuff up front because you might not be his pick. And he might not be yours, but the bottom, right. line, but the bottom line is um, if he is not, if he says tomorrow, uh, no, I don't want to be with you. I like this, but I don't want to take it any further. What are you prepared to do? Just continue dating. Thank you. Other people. So, thank you. Continue dating, but you're, but you're only dating this one person. Well, not by, like, that's by choice. But you're only dating this one person right yes. now. Yes, yes. So. I wonder why does she seem like she didn't want to admit that she's only dating this one person. I mean, it's okay if you only dating one person. It's okay to put your eggs in one basket if you see potential for that person. Go back to geriatric pregnancy. Go back to when do you want to get married? <laughs> okay. I'll feel you. All right. This is what I mean. This is why you can't have what you say you want because you ladies don't approach it with seriousness. Well, you guys just I feel get that comment. No, you no, because the 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 calendar has told you what life is. I just wonder why she doesn't feel comfortable saying that right now at this point that isn't something that she's serious about like what's wrong with her just telling him that i try not to put a date on things that i can't determine but i understand what you're saying the intentions of actually putting a date on it could help expedite i want you guys to understand how often our women don't want to put restrictions on or, or avoid women who don't want to put a calendar or a clock on anything Typically, people that don't want to put a calendar or a clock on things, it's because they're not passionate or serious about it. And it's evident from our conversation that this definitely isn't something she's serious about or it, it's something she sees in the near future. You don't want to put a clock on it because it's rejection. It's, it's real clear. I mean, it seems that it could appear that way, but it's definitely. No, it is that way. It Some is people that. just try it to have that. faith, you know, it that whatever. It is that. Happen. No, there's no faith. This, it is that way. Okay. I understand you. I believe you, but I never thought about it like that. Well, that's why men run the world. Kevin is hilarious. He said, "That's why men run the world." All right, Kevin. <laughs> because when stuff has to be done in a systematic way, you guys don't approach it that way. You approach it in your feelings and faith. So do you think men do that? They know when they want to get married and they set yes. a date on that? Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. 
I know what that is. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I do feel that she is all over the place, but do I think that most men um no? Uh-uh. I don't think they do. And do I think they put a clock on it? No, I don't. That's my opinion. I know at least ten men who got married, but well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, six men in my group alone. Plus, you can go on YouTube and see all the videos of people who say, I've been listening to Kevin, I've gotten married in under six months. Yeah, yeah, show you. Well, yeah, they're listening to you, but no, do they no, know No, no, man, that? you ask me, you ask me. I can, I can all tell you, I can show you people, I can show you folks. Dennis Spurley, he's an attorney right here on YouTube, found his uh, fiance in my group inside of a week. See, the problem well, is- I understand that you do help people, but I don't think people naturally know this. And that's your problem. I'm not saying no one knows this, but I'm saying you don't think I'm people saying the majority naturally know. No, no, no. The answer that you're is that you're okay, up saying that they do right this. They're that. not no, thinking. Oh, talk, talk me. You over with you, man. She doesn't watch his show at all because, and you can tell that by how she's just jumping in and saying what she wants to say. There is very little to low respect for his platform. I thought you don't over talk me. Okay. I'm trying to, you I'm listening. No, you but can't listen to me if I'm talking and you're talking through me. Now you can tell she's irritated as well. So the conversation is about to be finito. <laughs> That's the one thing I ask you not to do. And when I raise my voice, you start talking louder. Shouldn't raise your voice, honestly. Let's get off my phone. Well, I actually knew that was coming. To be honest with you, I was shocked that he had her on for as long as he did. Because honestly, in the first about 20 seconds, it seems like her whole focus was excitement that people were uh, going to her website. I don't think she wanted relationship advice. I don't think she's serious about being in a relationship. So, well, that will actually end this video for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Kevin did it again. And I will see you guys in my next one.